Hello there, this is Stan from Composite Mold. And here's a stretchy video we cut on making a two part mold with Impressive Putty. Impressive Putty is a reusable, easy to use mold making putty. We're using a soft silicone rubber, our soft bait rubber, to make the saw super stretchy. Make one part of the mold by pressing the putty over the shape that you want to duplicate. The putty starts as a flexible solid that is heated in the microwave into the putty that you're using to make the mold. Smooth the part of the mold you want to press over the object and then just press. Let this cool or place it in the freezer to cool and solidify even faster. Take your finger and press it into the mold. If you don't leave a mark, you know that the mold is ready to go. In that case, pull out the original shape, in this case a saw, and clean up the edges. A little bit of the impressive putty got underneath the saw blade, so I'm cutting that off using just a regular knife. I could have used scissors or an X-Acto knife, or probably I could have just used my fingers and peeled that off. Now something that's really important in this case that makes the impressive putty different than any other mold making material is these pieces that I'm taking off of the mold, don't throw those out. Those are reusable so that you can just put them back in and remelt them and make a new mold anytime you want. So all these pieces are for your next mold. An important part of making a two part mold is to make sure the two halves of the mold are aligned correctly. To do that, I'm adding keys into the side of the mold. So I'm cutting two notches on the first part of the mold so that when I make the second part of the mold, they go together and they're going to continuously be aligned in the same spot. No matter how many times I take them apart and put them back together again, they'll line up together. Now don't throw those pieces out. Those are reusable for a new mold. And you can add it to other impressive putty anytime. Okay, now we're ready to make the second half of the mold. I'm going to put the original shape back into the mold. I'm going to reheat some more impressive putty and get it ready to go. In this case, I've already had it ready to go. I'm going to smooth out one half of it so that when I push it on, I don't have any lines on it. And I'm going to press that onto the saw blade to make the second half of the mold. I'm going to make sure I put some of the putty into those aligning jigs that I made. And I'm going to make sure that I get into all the crevices around the mold. And that's the process for making a two-part mold. To solidify this mold, I could have put it back in the freezer and chilled it. Um, if I was worried about the two halves sticking together, I could have chilled that first part of the mold first. So that it was cold and then when I pressed the warm impressive putty against it, they wouldn't stick together. In this case, I didn't even do that and the part still didn't stick together. I would have had to have heated up both halves and press them together to create the, the parts to stick together. And now we're ready for the casting. The soft bait rubber is our material to make soft bait fishing rubber, but it's also a great silicone rubber for very flexible castings. It mixes in one part to one part, and I added a little bit of white and just a tiny, tiny drop of black to make this a grayish color for the rubber. The rubber by itself is a slightly transparent uh, original color or non-color. It cures into a rubber in about five to 10 minutes. You'll notice that I haven't used any mold release to make the mold and I'm not gonna use any mold release to make the casting. The impressive putty comes with a additive that's into the material that allows it to, to be remixed and over and over again. And that also acts as the mold release. So I've mixed the two-part silicone together and added some color, and now I'm pouring it into one of the halves of the mold. I'm gonna be careful that I don't overflow this too much. And when it's filled, I'm gonna put some on the other half, and then I'm gonna press those two parts together. putting a little piece of polymer clay underneath this mold to make it flat so that the silicone doesn't run off the sides.
I'm going to wipe a little bit of the silicone into the top half of the mold here just so I make sure it's all fully covered. And this also makes it so that there's less of a chance of the bubbles occurring when I press the two halves together. Let the silicone rubber cure. And now we're ready to pull out the casting from the two-part mold. The rubber is pretty strong, but what I want to try to do is peel it away so I'm not ripping the silicone when I pull it, pull it apart. Ta-da! Look what you saw how to make on ComposiMold.com. Be sure to tell everybody that you saw this at ComposiMold. Oh, that's really bad. Anyways, I clean up the edges of the, of the casting. I just use some scissors to cut off the extra silicone and our part is ready to go. That impressive putty can then be remelted to make a new mold or you can reuse that same mold to make more of the same castings. The number of castings that you can get depends on the complexity of it. A really hard part may slowly degrade the mold over time or it may last quite a long time. What's nice about it is you can remelt and reuse the mold to make another mold anytime you want. Here's the saw compared to the original. Pretty stretchy. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, you can let us know and please get your impressive putty at impressiveputty.com or composimold.com.